mga ang ibang pictures ninyo. Ilalagyan ko ng mga pangalan ninyo para nakikita nila na nagtatrabaho ko kayo. Kayong lahat. At uh, aray ko. <coughs> Nandito na ba yung mga third year? Parang yung fourth year ang palaging wala. Hindi lahat. Yan na si Francis. Sige, hintayin pa natin. Mga five minutes pa. Then we start. Nakikita niyo ba ako? Ah, yes, po. Nakikita niyo kung gaano na ako kaputi. Dahil sa hindi naglalabas. Pati ang legs ko, grabe. Nagbisikleta ako, grabe. Ang puti pala ng legs ko. Kaya nagbila ko ng mga pambisikletang pantalon. At nahiya ako na maputi ang legs ko. Napuputi imang pala ang agta, ade. Si Rariuso na naman kang umag-apo. Napagod kayo? Napagod? Children? Sayang, hindi tayo magkakasakasama. Corn? Yes po, ma'am. Ang dami ko na pating na-discover na bagong restaurant. Wala akong eating body. Wala kayo. Bagi ano sa graduation, madam? <laughs> Pawat pa. Magaw. Baka mag-ano na, nagme-meeting sindangon yan. May, uh, ano mo yan, may administrative council meeting. Baka lamang, ano na, baka lamang kasama dun sa ano yung mga request para mag-field activity and everything. Sana ma-approvaran man lamang mga ano, pero syempre, hindi pa natin sigurado. Pero sana naman, or data na lang ipasarga, boss, para mag-utro sa sunod na taon, ano, sa iling nindo. Okay lang. <laughs> Sige, magpo, nag-aritita, hindi naman siguro kay maabot pa, na ano, and, uh, up, maabot kayo ni, hindi naman siguro kay maabot, ma, ano yan, malaug pa. Mga klase pa. So, let's start kasi mahaba-haba ito. And uh, medyo masalimot ang mga discussion. So, good afternoon everybody. I ha- There were only 32. Ilan nga ba tayo? Wait lang. Wait. There are there are supposed to be 34 students inside the classroom. But ngayon ay 26 lang. Ay hindi. 25 lang kasi dalawa. Dalawa ako. 25. So, there are several people na absent and there are only 34 32 na nag-share ng kanilang mga picture so yung iba hindi pa nag-share ng kanilang mga picture so eventually we will compile all your ano bang tawag dyan? all your uh, collections and then identify them and uh, make may, maybe a uh, Final output will be just a paper for everybody. Just one one collection, I know, one collection uh, paper for everybody. We will compile everything na mga pictures na magaganda, pagagandahin natin. And we lay out everything into something na, na bang tawag dyan? Uh, parang sa coffee table book. And that's the final output for this class. Okay, so good afternoon, everybody. Uh, last meeting, if you still remember our discussion about the characteristics of the body, uh, vegetative body or the growing body of fungi. So today, dahil nagsisimula na kayo with collecting and uh, taking pictures, ang pag-uusapan natin ngayong hapon na to ay ang classification ng fungi. Paano siya kinaklassify? Uh, alam natin, last, uh, on the early part of our class, sinasabi ko sa inyo palapalagi na uh, masalimuot kung paano kinaklasify ang fungi. O oh, well, kung paano siya ilalagay sa isang kingdom or ilalagay pa siya kasama ng plants, ilalagay pa siya ng, kasama ng animals, and then ano ang kanyang uh, tamang pangalan. So, right now, ang ginagamit na pangalan ay kingdom funga, but before that, iba naman ang pangalan. Kingdom myco, mycotaxa. Parang ganun. So, uh, pag-uusapan natin ngayon araw na to kung paano kinaklasify ang fungi. Dalawang bagay ang 
uh, I prepared this PowerPoint presentation to present to you paano kinaklasify on an old way of classification and a new way of classifying fungi. And later on uh, this afternoon, I will give you a paper on the updates for the 20, 21st year 2021 kung paano na kinaklasify ang fungi. I just like you to browse on the paper because it's something like 401 pages. 401 pages dahil nakalagay na doon ang lahat ng mga identified species. So just browse on the on the paper just on the first uh, few uh, pages ng papel na yon because ini-explain doon kung paano classify yung mga fungi na yon. And with the advancement of modern technology and with uh, molecular biology karamihan sa karamihan sa mga fungi ay nire-reclassify because of the molecular characteristics and yesterday i had this class with uh, Thai people fungi of thailand it's on paano naghahanap ng uh dyan, ng medicine uh medicinal screening for uh, fungi of Thailand. So, sana sa Philippines, uh, magkaroon din tayo ng ganun and uh, perhaps somebody with you, from you, will also have the, uh, what's this, uh, interest in studying fungi just like me. But, uh, of course, hindi siya madali. It takes time for you to sample everything, to identify everything. And, uh, just the molecular characteristics ay kakaiba na rin and you have to extract the DNA. But, of course, everything in classification starts out with classifying uh, organisms based on their characteristics, based on what, on how you see them, based on their color, based on their shapes, based on everything. And the uh, and the uh, <coughs> and the present method of classifying and reclassifying organisms is just part and parcel of the advancement. But hindi ka naman makakapag-advance kapag ang characteristics ay, ay hindi mo nakita na tama o mali. But there are cryptic organisms that, uh, that have different uh, characteristics from time to time kasama na ang fungi. So it's very difficult really to classify them. So panakanaka, nababago ang mga classification. Panakanaka, naibabalik, nalilipat, nababago ang pangalan and everything. So I turn off my camera for a while and start with a PowerPoint presentation. So you please tell me again kung nakikita o hindi. Pagtsatsagaan ko ulit ang pabalik-balik. So magandang hapon. Ang araw na ito will be devoted for the classification of fungi or the taxonomy of funga. So hindi lahat ng... Hindi lahat ng... Ano, hindi lahat ng uh, mycologist nag a ng pangalang funga. Ang iba ay nag accept pa ng mga old names. But nevertheless, we know already the characteristics of fungi and you had your red mold activity. And the next activity will be based on uh, characterizing more whatever that you have seen and later perhaps we'll uh, be able to collect. So, ang classification ng fungi are based on characteristics of the sexual spores and the fruiting bodies present during the sexual stages of their life cycles. Therefore, based on characteristics of their sexual stages and morphology of their asexual spores and thalli, they are classified into different groups. So, meron tayong tinatawag na mga anamorphs. So, later on, pag-uusapan natin ito, bakit iba-iba ang mga characteristics nila or iba-iba ang kanilang mga itsura during their sexual stage at bakit iba naman ang kanilang characteristics or itsura during their asexual stage. Nung uh, 1879, I like to start with this. Uh, the classification which was introduced by a uh, mycologist uh, named Alexopoulos at sabi niya, ang pangalan ng kingdom ay hindi funga at hindi fungi at ang pangalan ng kingdom ay Mixete. Ang iba ay Mycete. 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 And the Mycete kingdom is divided into three divisions such as Gymnomycota, Mastigomycota and Amastigomycota. I decided to introduce this to you because this is easier to understand. Easier to understand in as much as tatatlo lang naman ang iisipin mo. And the characteristics of this tree are seen in all actually on 
if the fungi is reclassified into something, nakikita pa rin naman ang kanang mga karakteristik. So, paano kinaklas, paano tinitingnan ang isang fungi kung siya ay galing sa gymnomycota based on the classification of mycologist Alexopoulos in 1979? Sabi niya, the distinguishable characteristic... Okay, sorry. Hindi po nakapasit. Yes. <laughs> Naano ako, na-overwhelm ba? Sabi niya, the distinguishable characteristics of these organisms are that they ingest particulate, particulate nutrients and they'll also lack cell wall during the vegetative state. And this division is further divided into so two subdivisions, Acrasio gymno mycotina and plasmodium mycotina. Plasmodium gymno mycotina. So, Pinag-aawayan ito ng mga mycologists kasi sabi nila hindi pwede na nagpa-plasmolysis kasi yung plasmodio gynomycotina ay nagpa-plasmolysis. Sabi nila hindi pwede mag-plasmolysis ang mga fungi. At nung mga unang panahon na yon ay tinitingnan na ganito ang characteristics and because of the presence of chitin and presence of a, of a structure na pare-parehas na nagpo-form ng isang hypha and later on isang mycelium, nagkaroon ng isang division, gymnomycota. But later on, yung gymnomycota ay nag, ano, ay nag, anong tawag dito? Ay nag-advance ng kanyang sarili. This time, it became flagellated. And uh, this division, uh, division mastigomycota contains flagellated lower fungi with absorptive nutrition, unicellular or filamentous mycelium, which are sinusitic, sorry, wrong, wrong spelling. And mastigomycota division consists of two subdivisions, haplomastigomycotina and diplomastigomycotina. So, sa pangalan pa lang, alam natin yung isa ay merong haploid cell at ang isa naman ay merong diploid cell. So, ito yung flagellated lower fungi. At itong flagellated lower fungi ay actually nag exist pa ngayon at makikita natin later on dun sa mga chytrids sa bagong classification na ang tawag na ay chytridiomycotina. Chytridiomycota. Okay, and the third division based on Alexopoulos is division amastigomycota. And the major distinguishable characteristics of this fungi are absorptive nutrition. Lacking flagella, mycelium aseptate or septate, and this division contains further subdivision, cygomycotina, ascomycotina, basidiomycotina, and deuteromycotina. So at the present uh, way of classifying fungi, Actually, sa totoo lang, ito na lang ang, tinat ang tinitingnan. And hindi na ito tinitingnan na, and hindi na ito tinitingnan just as a division, at ito ay tinitingnan na bilang isang phylum. So later on, makikita natin kung ano-ano ang mga mga. So ano ang present day classification of kingdom funga? Sabi na, nag nagbabalik po ba? Nagbabalik po ba pag pigi scroll ko? Oh, nasa ano po? Okay. Nasa division mas di kong may katapot. Ay, dahil nagbabalik. Wait lang, mabalik ako duman sa ano ko. I-share ko na. Ma, stop sharing mo na ha. Mapagalun. Dire-diretsyo. Entire screen na lang. Pagalun, magbalik-balik eh. O yan, nakikita ang screen? Yes po. Okay po, sige. So, sabi ko kanina, based on the classification of uh, Alexopoulos in 1979, gymnomycota, mastigomycota, and amastigomycota. And yung pinakalas na uh, division 3 of uh, Alexopoulos, amastigomycota, is actually the one being utilized right now in the present day classification of funga. Kung nakikita nyo dati, ang tawag sa kanya ay mycetae. 
At ngayon, ang tawag na sa kanya ay, fung- ay Funga dahil nawala na po yung ibang mga divisions na dalawa. At yung dalawang divisions na yon ay nalipat na po sa iba pa namang mga kingdom. So the kingdom Punjai contains five major phyla that were established according to their mode of sexual reproduction or using molecular data. And the polyphyletic unrelated fungi that reproduce without sexual cycle are, are placed for convenience in a sixth group and uh, sixth group called the form called, called a form phylum. So itong form phylum na ito ay hindi sigurado kung sila ay fungi or sila ay bacteria or sila ay iba pang uh, klase ng microorganisms. And they are grouped together in there and maybe because of their relationship based on their molecular data hindi pa sila basta-basta inaalis. But they are grouped together there because ang kanilang mga characteristics ay kakaiba dun sa mga tinatawag nating true fungi. But not all mycologists agree with this scheme. So rapid advances in molecular biology and the sequencing of 18S RNA, which is a part of the RNA, continue to show new and different relationships between the various categories of fungi. So kung gagawa ka ng phylogenetic tree, ang hinahanap mo is the 18S RNA na segment ng RNA para ikaw ay makapag-establish ng mga relationship at makagawa ka ng isang clade kung saan mo igugropo-gropo ang iyong mga fungi. So, the five true phyla of fungi are the chytridiomycota or the chytrids, the zygomycota or the conjugated fungi, the ascomycotas or the sac fungi, and the basidiomycota which are the club fungi, and the recently described phylum which we call as glomeromycota. So the glomeromycota was established because of characteristics based on molecular data. And an older classification scheme, group fungi that are the strictly used sex, asexual reproduction into deuteromycota, which is a group that is no longer in use. Hindi na naman siya giniyuyus ngayon because nga palagi lang asexual reproduction, but it is still important for you to learn about deuteromycota. Later on, in the as we advance in the course, ay malalaman natin kung ano-ano ang kanilang mga karakteristics at bakit hindi sila basta-basta inihihiwalay dun sa kingdom funga at meron silang relationship. So let's look at the chytrids or the chytridiomycotas. This is the only class in the, there is only one class in phylum chytridiomycota and this is chytridiomycetes. And the chytrids are the simplest and most primitive eumycota or true fungi. And the evolutionary record shows that the first recognizable chytrids appeared during the late Precambrian period, more than 500 million years ago. And like all fungi, chytrids have chitin in their cell walls, but one group of chytrids has both cellulose and chitin in their cell wall. And most chytrids are unicellular, uh, and a few for multicellular organisms and hyphae, which have no septa between cells, so we call them uh, sinocytic hypha. And they produce gametes and diploid so- uh, zoospores that swim with the help of a single flagellum. So kanina, sabi natin merong flagellum. Ito, nakikita natin meron pa rin namang flagellum ang mga chytridiomycota. Okay. And the ecological habitat and cell structure of chytrids have much I have much uh, in common with protists. And chytrids usually live in aquatic environments, although some species live on land. And some species thrive as parasites on plants, insects, or amphibians, while others are subgroups. And chytrid species Alumyces is well characterized as an experimental organism. Its reproductive cycle includes both sexual and asexual phases. And alumyces produce diploid or haploid flagellated zoospores in a particular sporangium. So, ganito ang kanyang itsura. So, this is the chytrid Batrachotherium dendrobatidis is seen in this light micrograph and is transparent spheres growing on a freshwater arthropod and an algae. At itong chytrid na ito ang nakakapag-cause uh, ng disease sa mga amphibians. 
And uh, this actually was the reason why some of the amphibians in the Philippines declined. Namatay-matay. Hindi natin nalaman pa nung una kung bakit nawala tayo ng maraming mga frogs at iba pang mga amphibians. Ito po pala ang ano, ito po pala ang salarin. Eventually I will tell you I, I will show you more pictures of this particular chytrid. Mahirap lang talaga siya i-pronounce ko na lahat at nag-iingat ako sa pagpo-pronounce ko. Batraco chytrium dendrobatidis. Okay? So, ang pinakalaw ang pinakalaw ang pangalawa na eh, pangalawa na Uh, phylum are the zygomycota or the conjugated fungi. And we also call this as the zygomycetes and uh, they belong to phylum zygomycota. And they include the familiar bread mold na nakita ninyo, Rhizophus tolonifer, which is rapidly which rapidly propagates on the surfaces of breads, of fruits, and of vegetables. And some species are saprobes, leaving off decaying organic material. A few are parasites, ang iba ay parasites ng insects. And zygomycetes play a considerable commercial role. The metabolic products of other species of rhizopus are intermediates in the synthesis of semi-synthetic steroid hormones. So, importante pa rin naman. But hindi ko sinabi na yung tinapay mo, na nilagyan mo na ng mold, ay na nagtubo na ang mold, ay pwede mo pa ulit kainin. Ibang usapan yun. So, ito po ang, ang life cycle ng isang zygomycid. So, ito yung kanyang asexual, ito yung kanyang mycelia or ang kanyang mga, ang mga, ano tawag dito? Ang mga hyphae and then uh, nag-germinate and in the process of germinate, oh, nakakapag-produce siya in an asexual reproduction ng mga spores. At uh, dalawang bagay, pwedeng yung spore mag-germinate, mag-isa niya. Or pwede namang magkaroon ng sexual reproduction, dalawang mating type, dalawang hypha ay nagmimate. Hindi pagmimate na kagaya ng sa animals, but just a simple attachment of one hypha with another hypha, mating type, at nagcombine ang dalawang uh, spores na haploid. So naging diploid and nagkaroon ng plasmogamy with the fusion between the mating types. And this results in a sporangium with multiple haploid nuclei. And later on, nagkaroon ng karyogamy. At kapag nagkaroon ng karyogamy, nagkaroon na po ng zygote. And the zygote undergoes meiosis and germination. Ang sporangium grows on a short stalk at meron na naman po tayo. At nakikita natin yung sporangium. At ito pong sporangium na ito ay basically will germinate again and will also produce spores. So dalawang bagay ang pagpaproduce ng spores sa zygomycid. In a sexual reproduction, it can produce spores, while in sexual reproduction, it can also produce spores. So later on, we will talking, we will be talking more about this particular life cycle and the lifestyle of zygomycetes and all the rest of the phylum in the kingdom punga. But ito ay introduction. So the sporangia, yung mga bilog-bilog na nakita nyo na mga uh, maiitim ang tabag sa kanila at the end of the stalks are sporangia. They grow at the end of a particular stalk, which appears as a white fuzz seen on your bread mold. At ang tawag doon sa bread mold na nakita nyo na may maputi at may maputing fuzzy material at merong maitim sa dulo ng isang stalk ay rhizophobus at stolonifer. So the tips of the bread mold are the spore containing sporangia. Yung mga itim-itim na nakita nyo. Yun po ang naandun po, ang, yun po ang sporangia at naandun po ang ating mga spores. Lahat po ba nakapag-observe nito na may sporangia? Yes po. Okay. Sige. At ang pangkatlo po are the aspomycota or the sac fungi. And the majority of known fungi actually belong to phylum Ascomycota, which is characterized by the formation of an ascus. At ito po ang ascus ay plural po ng asci, which is a sac-like structure that contains haploid ascospores. And many ascospore, ascomycetes are of commercial importance. Some play a beneficial role such as yeast in baking, brewing, and wine fermentation, plus truffles and morels which are held as gourmet 
And uh, aspergillus or rice is used in the fermentation of rice to produce sake, which is the Japanese wine, and other isomycetes, parasitized plants and animals, which also includes humans. And asexual reproduction is frequent and involves the production of conidiopores. Tandaan kung ano-ano ang mga pinoproduce. Ano nga kanina ang pinoproduce? ng mga ano nga ang fruiting body ang tawag sa mga psychomycin ang tawag ay ang tawag ay ang tawag ay sporangia at doon nakikita ang mga spores samantalang sa ascomycota ang tawag sa napoproduce Pinagpuprodusan ay anterigium and ascogonium at doon nakikita ang conidium pores. So, sexual reproduction starts with the development of special hyphae from either one of two types of mating strain. So, the male strain produces an anterigium and the female strain develops an ascogonium. So, the anterigium produces the male sexual cell and the ascogonium produces the female Fertilization, the anterigium and the ascogonium combine in plasmogamy without nuclear fusion. And special ascogenous hyphae arise in which pairs of nuclei migrate from the male strain and one from the female strain. In each ascus, two or more haploid ascospores fuse their nuclei in cardiogamy. And during sexual reproduction, thousands of asci fill a fruiting body called the ascoscarp. So, ang tawag sa fruiting body sa mga ascomycota ay ascoscarp. Kanina, ang tawag ay sporangia lang. Ganun lang kasimple. So, the diploid nucleus give rise to haploid nuclei by meiosis and the ascospores are then released, germinate, and form a hyphae that are disseminated in the environment and the new mice. So, ito. Asexual ay ang life cycle ng isang ascomycid. Meron siyang asexual reproduction at meron din po siyang sexual reproduction. Eventually, we'll be talking about this. Alos parehas lang naman ang kanilang mga, ang kanilang, saan ba yun? Parehas lang naman na merong sexual at asexual reproduction halos. Ang pinagkakaiba lang nila, parehas lang naman ang mga process, may karyogami, may plasmogami, may meiosis, ang pagkakaiba-iba lang po kung saan nakalagay ang mga sexual cells. At ang tawag po natin ngayon are the ascus. For the ascomycids. Kaya nga po ang tawag ay ascomycid. At ang pang-apat, pang-tatlo are the basidiumycota, uh, pang which are the club fungi. And the, club, uh, and the fungi in uh, phylum basidiumycota are easily recognizable under a light microscope by their club shape. Fruiting bodies called basidia. So, yung... Ano nga ang hinahanap natin sa ascomycota? Ano ang dapat natin hanapin? Ascus. Ano ang naandun sa has ascus? Ascus pores. Samantalang sa basidium mycota, ang, hinahatip, ang hinahanap natin ay basidium at doon natin makikita, makikita ang mga basidius or So, in the process of classifying fungi, aside from using the physical characteristics of the fruiting body, tinitingnan din po natin ang mga uh, spores. Kadalasan, inihingi na kung tinignan ba ang spores o hindi. And this mushroom producing basidiumycid are sometimes referred to as gill fungi because of the presence of gill-like structure on the underside of the cup. So the gills are actually compacted hyphae in which the basidia are born. And this group also includes shelf fungus which clings to the bark of trees like small shelves. Kanina, merong mga nag-submit nag ng pictures ng mga shelf fungi. And in addition, the basidium mycota includes moths and rusts, which are important plant pathogens. Kanina, merong nag-submit ng rats, rusts na picture sa dahon, which are important plant pathogens, toadstools, and shelf fungi stuck on tray track. But yung sinubmit po na 
picture ng uh, leaf na meron pong uh, rust ay hindi basta-basta natin makikita ang kanyang fruiting body unless na meron po tayong microscope. And the most edible fungi belong to the to phylum basidiomycota. However, some basidiomycetes produce deadly toxin. So, yun inyong kinokolek-kolek po ay hindi basta-basta pwedeng i-taste at hindi basta-basta pwedeng sabihin edible ito. Unless na talagang merong uh, known na dun sa community ninyo, like sa community ni Corn, meron talagang nangunguha dun, dun sa may sagingan. Hindi ka basta-basta pwede magluto. Well, sabi nyo nga, ano nga ba yun? Uh, you only live once. And if you eat the fungi, well, you will really live only once. And the life cycle of basidiomycetes includes alteration of generations. So spores are generally produced through sexual reproduction rather than a sexual reproduction. And the club-shaped basidium carries spores which we call as basidium spores. And in the basidium, nuclei of two different mating strains fuse. So parehas din lang. And the haploid nuclei migrate into basidium spores, which germinate and generate monokaryotic hyphae. And the mycelium that results is called the primary mycelium. And the mycelia of different mating strains can combine and produce a secondary mycelium. And we call this already as the dikaryotic stage. And eventually, the secondary mycelium generates a basidiocarp. At itong basidiocarp na ito ay yun na ang nakita nyo kaninang umaga na mga mushroom na lumalaban. Ito po yung fruiting body that we call as the basidiocarp ng ating mga uh, basidiomycetes or the basidiomycota. Karamihan sa nakita nyo kanina ay member ng basidiomycota. Meron din namang nakakita ng isang sac fungi na nabigay na picture. And the basidiocarp Puffs bears the developing basidia under the gills, under its cup. So it is very important for you to take a picture of the underside of the of the sample. Bakit? Kasi kailangan natin ito sa pag uh, pag classify ng ating mga fungi at pagbibigay sa kanila ng mga pangalan. So iba iba ang mga ang iba ay merong mga gills. Iba iba rin naman ang mga patterns ng mga gills. Eventually, pag aaralan natin. Pahinay-hinay lang. Ang um, iba naman ay merong mga parang mga maliliit-liit lang na mga butas. At ang tawag dito, paminsan-minsan ay uh, ang iba, ang, ta ang ibang mga uh, mycologists, ang tawag sa, ano nga ba ang tawag dito sa mycologists na Japanese? Ang limba pang tuloy. Uh, ano nga ba yan? Uh, wait lang, hindi ko naalala. Mamaya, maalala ko. But yun, yung underside ay kailangan yung, ano, kailangan nyo tingnan at kailangan nyo, kailangan nyo uh, kuha na ng picture. At iba-iba rin naman ang arrangement. Kung paano nagdidikit-dikit yung mga gills. Merong mga malalaki ang mga space, meron din namang maliliit ang mga space. Okay. So, ito naman ang uh, basidiomycete life cycle as compared to the ascomycete nakaiba siya. Kasi dito lang siya nagpo-produce ng nagpo-produce siya ng mga sexual cells during sexual reproduction ng spores during sexual reproduction. Hindi kagaya dito nakakapag-produce ng spores even in the ascomycete ano, uh, asexual reproduction at dito rin naman sa ascos ay meron na nagpo-produce. Later on, pag-uusapan pa rin naman natin. So, yung Yo, ito yung nakita nyo kanina. At you call the underside, yung mga gills, gills, at mga pores na nandun, pamisan bilog-bilog pores ang tawag. Ba't merong tawag yung Japanese na ano, hindi ko naalala. Japanese na uh, mycologist, nakakaiba. So, ang tawag dito ay basidya. Sige, babalikan pa natin. So, meron tayong mga tinatawag na imperfect fungi. At itong mga imperfect fungi are those that do not display a sexual face. And this is used to be classified in the phylum uh, Deuteromycota, which is a classification group which is no longer used in the present and ever-developing classification of organisms. And while Deuteromycota used to be a classification group, 
recent molecular analysis has shown that the members classified in this group belong either to Ascomycota or to the Basidiomycota. But bakit sila na grupo dun sa Deuteromycota? Kasi dahil nga sa merong sinasabi ko kanina ng mga cryptic na mga kalagayan ng ating mga fungi. Yung iba, paminsan na na stuck lang siya dun sa isang asexual phase. Yung isa naman ay na stuck lang dun sa isang sexual phase. So hindi na maintindihan or paminsan for several generations paulit-ulit na asexual ang kanyang state ang kanyang face na sinusunod. For a particular generation, again, ang, tinit, ang sinusunod naman niya ay sexual state lang naman talaga. So, yung mga imperfect fungi naman na ito na tinatawag natin, wala, hindi na nagpossess ng sexual structures na pwede natin gamitin to classify sila with other fungi. And they are less well described in comparison to other members dahil hindi nga maintindihan kung ano nga talaga sila. And most of the members of this uh, old classification, Deuteromycota lives on land while there are few uh, aquatic exceptions. And they form visible mycelia with a fuzzy appearance and are commonly known as mold. So, yung nakita ninyo na mold, ang iba doon ay hindi naman actually mold. Pwede meron kayong nakitang uh, trichoderma. Pwede meron kayong nakitang uh, iba pa. Ah, yung may mga kulay green na ano na coloration baka trichoderma yung nakita ninyo doon but in as much as wala tayong microscope at hindi natin nakikita talaga ang kanilang uh, vegetative state at ang kanilang fruiting body sa isang microscope hindi tayo basta basta pwede magsabi kaya ang ating best description is just to say that all these things that grow into your bread are molds and iba-ibang klase naman talaga really ang mga molds at iba-iba naman naman ang kanilang mga colors So, yun lang ang ating classification. So, yung reproduction of the ay, of the fungi in this group is strictly asexual and of course mostly by production of asexual conidiophores. And some hyphae may recombine and form heterokaryotic hyphae and genetic recommendation is known to take place between the different nuclei. So, ganun lang sila kasimple. But itong mga deuteromycota na ito at itong mga cryptic fungi na ito at itong mga fungi na hindi basta-basta na na-classify into something are really very important at merong very large impact sa ating human life. At ang um, food industry is actually one of the users of this uh, particular uh, type of fungi. And lalo na sa paggagawa ng cheese, ripening of cheese, kung kayo ay mahilig sa cheese, kagaya ko, meron tayong tinatawag na Roquefort cheese. So, itong Roquefort cheese na ito, paminsan ayaw nyo kumain dahil mabaho siya. At ang iba, ang tawag ay blue cheese. Dahil meron siyang mga veins, veins na nakikita mo, you can see the, the hypha and the mycelium of the fungi growing in the cheese. At meron siyang kakaibang smell at meron siyang kakaibang taste. At yung camembert naman are result of fungal growth, yung kanyang white crust. Kung kayo ay na, uh, nakakain na ng, ano bang tawag? Ay naka-order na or nagagawa somewhere, somebody gave you maybe ng isang cheese board. Chee, ano nga ba ang tawag nyo doon? Charcuterie board. Pala palaging merong nakalagay na camembert o kaya ng rye. So, yung matigas na part ng cheese na camembert or ng rye is actually because of a particular fungi. But yung labas na uh, parte ng cheese na ito ay tumitigas because nagka-taken out yung mga mycelia at nagka-dry up. But inside, hindi naman pumapasok doon yung mycelia na andun lang talaga siya sa labas ng cheese na grow Malambot yung cheese na naandun sa loob. And antibiotic penicillin o of course, was originally discovered as an on an overgrown petri plate which on which a colony of penicillium fungi killed the bacterial growth surrounding it. And other fungi in this group cause serious disease either directly as parasites uh, or as producers of potent toxic compounds as seen in the aflatoxins released by fungi of the genus Aspergillus. So, kung nakita niyo yung Nakita niyo yung post ko the other day, it was something like uh, naglalab pa ako ng, 
ano ko, nag-aakid pa ako ng aking PhD. And uh, ang aking test organism is, uh, ano nga ba yun? Uh, uh, Trichoderma harshanum combined in a petri plate with uh, Sclerotium rolfsi. Yung Sclerotium rolfsi is known to uh, to kill uh, many plant species. At siya ay nag-perform din ng mga bilog-bilog na sinabi ko sa inyo the last time ng sclerotial bodies. At hindi siya basta-basta namamatay talaga. Kahit na spray-spray mo siya ng ano, spray-spray mo siya ng antifungal ng mga spray, hindi siya basta-basta namamatay. Kasi yung sclerotial bodies na nag-perform na yon which are high faith are actually uh, not uh, penetrable with water, with whatever na liquid. So, itong mga, itong sclerotium rolls na ito ay nagkukos ng nagkukos siya ng root rot sa ilalim nung, nung roots. At hindi mo alam, nakatayo pa yung ano mo, parang buhay pa, pero sa, lo, sa ilalim pala ay patay na. At kasama ito sa mga uh, cryptic na ano ng funja because I was able to grow a fruiting body out of the out of my sclerotial body eventually. But paano makokontrol yung mechanism na yon, yung growth and development ng ano, kailangan ko rin maghanap ng isang funja. And later on, uh, we will have a lesson on this on paano ginagamit ang funja para mag-heal ng kapanyang funja. On Okay. At ito naman ay isang uh, recently uh, established phylum in the kingdom fungi. At ang tawag nito natin dito ay glomeromycota. And uh, in as much as it is newly established, there are only 230 species na meron pa meron nang na na-identify na and they all live in close association with the roots of the trees. And uh, sinasabi na ang fossil records indicates that trees and their root symbionts share a long evolutionary history. Parang merong uh, network sa ilalim ng lupa at nag-uusap-usap yung mga trees dahil dito sa mga species ng Lomeromycota because one hyphae is, it, it is uh, intricately attached to the mycelium o na nag-invade din naman doon sa, sa isang tree. At ito ay tinatawag natin na uh, mycorrhiza. Ito yung mga my, ito yung mga species ng fungi na nagpo-coexist with the roots of the trees. Ang iba sa kanila ay pumapasok sa root system. Ang iba naman ay nakapaligid lang and uh, yung hypha interact with the root cells forming a mutually beneficial association where the plants can actually supply food, carbon source from whatever that has been produced in photosynthesis dun sa ating mga fungi at yung fungi naman can actually uh, uh, supply essential minerals from the soil to the plants. So, beneficial silang dalawa and ang ang mga <coughs> our mga mycorrhiza na ito are said to have existed for such a long time and was actually the reason <coughs> kung bakit nagkaroon ng, in, na, nagkaroon ng land plants. You have to remember na nung mga unang panahon nga, sabi ko, yung uh, fungi was classified with plants dahil ang akala are uh, able to produce uh, food in the process of photosynthesis. But yung invasion dahil nga sa ang um, common ancestor, sinasabi na naandun sa may water nung mga una-unang plants because the the Tawag dyan, the distribution of food materials is from one cell to another cell. At kailangan nila ng water medium at naandun sila pala palagi sa mga damp places. And eventually, nagkaroon ng mga moss at mga bryophytes. And eventually, nagkaroon na ng land plants, nagkaroon ng uh, root systems na nakakapag-anchor. Kung natatandaan pa ninyo ang history ng uh, plant, uh, plant uh, systematics. So, sinasabi sa isang article that I have just recently re read na ang reason kung bakit nakapag-invade ng land at nagkaroon ng root system for anchorage and uh, whatever para makakuha ng uh, minerals and water from the soil are fungi. And ito ang mga glomeromycota. But the glomeromycetes do not reproduce sexually and do not survive without the presence of plant roots. 
Although they have sinusitic hyphae like, like the zygomyces, they do not form zygospores. And DNA analysis shows that all glomeromyces probably descended from a common ancestor, making them a monophyletic lineage. So, sa buong kingdom funga, ang talagang established as a monophyletic group are just the glomeromycota. Hindi pa natin na establish yung iba pang mga uh, phylum ng kingdom funga as a monophyletic group. Dahil pabago-bago pa until now ang mga pagka-classify at pag -re classify sa kanila. Okay. So, ang mga fungi din naman natin ay pwede natin ma-classify based sa kanilang mga spore formations. And they can be divided into six groups based on the organization of the vegetative talus, spore production methods, and the morphology of the reprodu reproductive structures and their particular life cycles. So, pwedeng tawagin silang phycomycetes at ang tawag sa kanila are algae fungi because it contains similar characters to algae. So, yung mga phycomycetes, these are based on ano ha? These are based on spores. Yung mga phycomycetes na tinatawag, meron silang uh, asexual spores and they form zoospores or non-motal spores. But it also contains isogamous or heterogamous sexual reproduction which is mainly taking place by gametangial contact. Yung mga pag ano, ano And the zygote represents the diploid space. Yung nag, naglilink yung ating mga yung ating mga hypha at nag exchange ng material at nagkukombine ang isang positive uh, spore at isang negative spore. At ito ay naandun sa mga uh, tinatawag nating oomycetes at zygomycetes. Eventually, we will have more lessons about the spores. At ang pangalawa, Yun na nga, oomycetes, at ang pangalawa are zygomycetes. And of course, the ascomycetes, na sabi natin kanina, dahil galing sila sa ascospores, at uh, eventually, ang tawag are pasitumycetes. These are just based on ano ang tawag sa kanilang mga spores. And of course, the deuteromycetes, which are the imperfect fungi. So, artificial class, sinasabi ang deuteromycetes. So, but there are so many species in diverse habits and habitats. And uh, members of these groups are saprophytes as well as parasites. So, maraming mga plant diseases are caused by deuteromycetes. But some of the deuteromycetes are nal ay nalipat ng deuteromycetes. So, hindi pa natin alam. So, parang event, itong grupo na ito are, uh, is actually a ano bang, breeding place. Hindi naman pala breeding place. is actually a repository of organisms na eventually gets to be classified and reclassified based on their molecular component and molecular composition. So, a sexual reproduction wala sa deuteromycetes. That's why they are called as imperfect fungi. So this ends my uh, short lecture for this afternoon. Just to introduce to you on how fungi are classified. Alam ko, nahihilo kayo, nalilito kayo. But sa susunod na mga araw, iisa-isahin ko at ang pinakaunang lesson sa susunod na araw ay Kaitrigio Mycota. So ang inyong assignment is to read about Kaitrigio Mycota. Ang kanyang characteristics, ang kanyang examples, at ang kanyang life cycle. You have to understand the life cycle. Pa isa isa lang. So Kaitrigio Mycota... And kay uh, Mycota and Psychomycota sa susunod na lesson. At mag-isang lesson ang Astomycota at mag-isang lesson ang Basidiomycota at isang lesson din ang Glomeromycota. Until we are able to finish everything. Okay. Do you have questions? Alam ko na ang sasabihin. Do you have questions? Overdose of information. Hindi kayang i- Ano? Kayang i-absorb. Correct? Mali? Uy. Everybody? Correct. <laughs> Uy, magsalita kayo. Nako. Parang wala na naman yata kayong mga ano. Mag-turn on nga kayo ng inyong mga camera for a while. Mga ate at mga kuya. Yun, si Paul. 
Wala na naman si Dwayne. Hindi na naman pumasok. Nandito po ko, madam. Hindi kita naki... Ayun! Dwayne, hindi ka pa nag-submit ng picture. Uy, member ba si Dwayne ng group chat? Ang tanong. Member ka? Ito po siya last week. Basa mo ba, Dwayne? Hindi po. Okay. Hindi pa ako na... Ha? Hindi pa ako na... Ma'am, na-add ko po siya last week. Na-add ka na daw, Dwayne, last week. Baka nasa request ko. Tingnan mo sa request mo, Dwayne. And then, meron akong pinapagawa kasi kaninang umaga. At tingnan mo, and you can also do it. Uh, bukas siguro or mamayang hapon kapag pwede ka lumabas. Plus all the rest na hindi pa nagbibigay ay magbigay. Wala po madam sa request. Hulo. Hindi pa po ako na ka na chat. Si Green Marking yung ano po inat ko. Na Facebook. Hindi ko alam kung ano ang ginagamit ni Dwayne na ano na Facebook. Mag-usap kayo Corn mamaya ha. Baka pwede mo siyang i-chat. Anyway, I gave you last meeting. I gave you last meeting, if you remember, a laboratory manual on paano magko-collect fungal collection manual. Nagbasa po ba kayo ng inyong fungal collection manual? Yes, Pak. Everybody. Okay. So, sinasabi sa uh, fungal collection manual na kailangan mo mag-take ng picture ng iba-ibang angles. At kailangan mo mag-take ng pictures ng uh, front side, ng underside, kung nakatayo or, or whatever. At kung pwede mong lagyan ng ano, kanina may naglagay ng kamay niya just to show kung gaano kalaki. Pwede kayo maglagay ng coin just to take a picture para i-compare ang size ng inyong fungi. Okay po. So, importante basahin ang manual na maayos. Kung meron ng pagkakataon, dahil po tayo ay mag-aano na, tayo ay painit na, the start of the summer season, eventually, iba na naman kung species ang makikita natin. So, yung mga nakita nyo kanina, kung pwede nyo balikan sa sunod na araw, and then you try to collect your fungi and you describe. And as you read your, uh, as you read your laboratory manual, merong tinatawag doon na bruising. Kung nasugat-sugat or nagalaw mo, nababago pa pa ang kulay. And you have to have a notebook in describing your fungi. Meron na lang kayong kung saan nyo na-save yung picture. Just to uh, lagyan na lang ng number kung alin para sa susunod, pag naturuan paano mag-identify, ay mas madali para sa inyo. And you describe it now while it is still fresh. And you describe it as... Saan nakuha, saan na ano, at susundin lang kung ano ang naandun sa manual. And you can collect already. You will collect the fungi provided you are able to dry it. Ano ba ang gagawin para magpa-dry? Ang dami-dami yung mga luma na mga papel, di ba? Di ba marunong kayo gumawa? Naalala ko si Therese, marunong gumawa ng box-box. Di ba? Marunong kayo? Marunong kayo, di ba, gumawa ng box? Yes, go, Uy. Nandiyan pa kayo? Andito yes, po, madam. Narinig niyo ako? Yes, po. Yes, po. Hala, you lost your network connection. Trying to reconnect. Pero narinig niyo ako? Yes, po, madam. Yes, po. Okay, Sige, sinasabi ng computer ko na na-lost daw ako eh. Pero naririnig nyo naman ako. Alam nyo ba yung pag pagagawa ng box-box? So, gumawa kayo ng box. Yung box na papel, huwag mo nang tatakpan at yun ang ipapaglagay nyo kung saan na lugar sa bahay ninyo para madry ang inyong mga fungi. Yung pag-dry ng fungi, You have to make sure
Nakamute ka po ata, madam. Kung may expose ulit siya sa tubig, ibig sabihin yung inyong fungi po ay mag, uh, ano, mag kakaroon ng molds. Naintindihan niyo ako? So you have to have it dry. Give me two minutes. Kukuha ako ng isang dry sample. <laughs> And eventually, kapag sobra na siyang dry, pwede nyo siyang ilagay sa isang plastic, merong label. Example. Ay. Wait lang. Example, eto. Super dry na siya. Super dry na ang aking kunday. O. Oh. Kita? And I have this bag full of dried kunday. Pwede ilagay sa siplak na bag. Kung sobra na po siyang dry. Pero kung po siya sobrang dry, hindi po siya basta-basta pwede ilagay. Another one. Plus, meron pong papel sa loob na meron pong nakasulat na information kung ano ang meron sa fungi. Okay? Actually, may drawing pa nga ako. So, ito po ay pinagpadry ng matagal-tagal na panahon. Pero dahil po sa pinagpadry, maaano na po ang kanyang ano, ang kanya pong uh, color, mababago na po. Dati kulay orange po ito. Orange. Opo. Orange daw. Ah, opo. At ang kanyang ilalim, sinasabi sa listahan ko, ang kanyang pores ay kulay brown at red. So, yung sa ilalim. Okay. So, pag dry na dry na, pwede nyo na siyang ilagay sa chiplock bag. Okay. 